Today I will be working with these two dollhouses that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I will be transforming them into gothic haunted houses to go along with my gothic castle that I just did recently in a previous video. I can't wait to get started on these and see how they turn out. So let's go! So to start I'm going to use this color place black spray paint and I'm just going to apply a thin coat to both houses to get started and it's just going to be real real thin I found that doing this helps it to stick better um, if you if you layer it up uh, instead of piling it all on at one time so while that's drying I'm going to go ahead and start on the second house and do a thin coat on that working in short bursts instead of steady sprays because it helps the paint to stick on this slick plastic a lot better um, than a steady spray does so you won't have that puddling problem just going to do it real thin and then set them to the side and let them dry um, then we can start on the next step. The inside I'm just going to spray real quick with a light coat because you're not going to really see the inside. I just want to cover up those bright colors for the most part. I found these cute little solo cups at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use them as paint cups. I will be using red and green today mixed with a little bit of my steel colored chalk paint and it really turned into a nice color. I like how it came out. So I'm going to use the green one first and start a thin coat over my first house and I'm not going to be very clean about it. I'm going to go back later and paint over the details so I'm just going to quickly put this over everything on the front of the house to help give it a good coating and I really like this color it came out really nice with the gray mixed in just a quick coat it's real thin not real thick at all and I'm using the I believe it was called Wayfair chalk paint. That's, that's the steel color that I mixed in with the primary green and primary red colors. Just get these sides real quick and then we're going to move this one off to the side and let it dry. And then while we're doing that, we can start on our next house. So here's the white house. Well, it used to be white. And I'm going to do the red on this one. I'm just going to do a quick coat over it again like I did on the green one. But the white house is not lined uh, like the green house is. It is just a smooth face on the house. And there's some little designs that you can't really see in the camera right now. So. I'm going to do this one a little different. I'm just going to get everything coated first really quick. And I'm just going to make it um, a little bit more texturized just to give it a little bit more visual interest. So I'm just going to go over the whole thing uh as as i paint and texturize it a little bit with my brush rather than going up and down like i'm doing when i first start applying it i'm going to kind of just give it a, a a little tapping effect to give it uh, more texture from the brush rather than those uh, straight up and down brush strokes just gives it a little bit more visual interest Just tapping, just tapping over the wet paint. We're going to do the whole thing like that. And 
And we don't want to forget the sides. Gotta get that too. They are looking really good so far. I have some other cute little details to add. We'll let those dry now. And I have this popsicle stick that I used as a paint stirrer in the past, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it for this project today. So I'm gonna break these round ends off of the popsicle stick so that it has some jagged edges. And then I'm going to use a little bit of brown paint. And let's see if we like it. I think I like this color. We're gonna go with this brown. I also picked up these uh, cupcake picks from Dollar Tree and they have skulls. So I just stuffed them in a piece of uh, foam to help hold them and I'm gonna spray paint them black. And here they are, they're all dry. Now for the next step, we just need to remove these sticks. Some of them just pull off, but the others you have to break them off. So I'm just going to break off these sticks off of our cupcake picks because we don't need them for this project. And some of them didn't break clean, so I'm just going to use my wire cutters and or flush cutters and cut that off. And now they are ready to go onto the houses. I'm going to use these little dolls that came with the houses too and make them into ghosts. You see them inside there? They came out so cute. I added some little Dollar Tree tea lights inside to help light them and make them a little bit more spooky and ghostly looking. And um, this is how they look. I got some ghosts inside the house there. And then there's another one up here on the top. I'm really happy with how they came out. I hope that you enjoyed this project. It was really easy and quick to do. You can do it with the kids and they will enjoy it too. I hope you all have a happy Halloween. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. That way you don't miss any future projects. Also, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.